Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, June 13th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some gray squares on the grid. They all kind of follow this step up pattern. Interesting. Let's start with one across, like the path of a lob. I think that's going to be arced, right? Like a lobbed tennis shot. Let's see if we can build off of that. Electrical adapter letters. I bet this is going to be AC-DC. Yeah, that would convert from alternating current to direct current. Authentic. I guess that could just be real. You're reading one right now? Well, we're reading a clue right now on a crossword. Nudged? Could that be elbowed? Yeah. Blank and don'ts. I think that'll be do's and don'ts. Okay, we have a lot of things filled in. Let's just double check and make sure they're correct. Cello is an instrument in a string quartet. That's right. Dobbs applies sloppily as paint. That's correct too. And Cleo, Egyptian queen for short. Yeah, that's short for Cleopatra. Excellent. Cries loudly. Is that going to be whales? Oh, and we didn't even look at what's in our gray squares here. It looks like it says clubs. Okay. I wonder if these are going to be the different suits of playing cards. It could be hearts spades and diamonds it is starting to look like that's maybe what it's gonna be middle blank time before the renaissance that's the middle ages vip that's a very important person hmm what's another word for that i don't know dirty dozen and this question mark means this is a wordplay clue what you have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. I know I've heard the term Dirty Dozen before. I'm not sure if it refers to a sports team or a movie. I know it's something like that. Hopefully the goose can help us out with that. But because it's a wordplay clue, it's not going to be referring to that. I think it's probably going to be referring to a dozen eggs, maybe? Is it going to be bad eggs? Yeah, there we go. That's our punny answer. So maybe this is going to start with big? Yeah, and we thought this was going to be spades probably, right? Because of this D. So maybe with that S in there, this could be big shot. That could be a VIP, right? We could probably put SPA in here. Is this going to be a spa? Hot Springs Resort. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can do these downs. Confer upon. And when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still sound correct. So I think this is going to be bestow upon. Yeah. Andean herd animal. That's going to be an alpaca. Used a rotary phone. I think that should be dialed. So what does that give us here? Elides? Skips over as a spoken syllable. Yeah, that's like saying ma'am instead of madam. Very nice, okay. Light white powder, that could be talc. Let's see if we can finish off the top here. Stuck ashore as a whale. I think that'll be beached. Yeah, and that gives us the beginning of hearts that we wanted, H-E. I bet we can put in hearts here. What is this going to be? Data graphics with wedges? That has to be pie charts, right? Nice. Big flaps in the fashion industry. And this is another wordplay clue, so this is not going to be about a big commotion in the fashion industry. I think this is going to be talking about flaps literally on a piece of clothing. That could be lapels, right? Especially if we're talking about shirts from the 70s. Stand the test of time. I think that'll be last. French peak. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to be the French word for the Alps. I actually don't know what that is. Is it going to be like Alpa or something? Let's see what these downs are. Assumed name. Yeah, that's going to be an alias. 
blueprint detail. That'll be a spec. Yeah, specification. And Silicon Valley field. Yeah, that's tech. So it is Alpa. That must be the French word for Alp. Present. These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think a good one would be here, like we're taking attendance. How you might walk through the graveyard at night. Hmm. Carefully? <laughs> I don't know. What is this going to be? At night. Hmm. The P of MPG, that's miles per gallon. Have for lunch? I guess it's going to be eat. Stethoscope users abbreviated, that'll be doctors. Newspaper opinion piece, that'll be an op-ed opposite the editorial page. Blank far, wherever you are, Celine Dion lyric, that's near far. That's her song from Titanic, right? How you might walk through the graveyard at night. Okay, maybe this is going to be on a dare. That's true. That's very funny. Air traffic control equipment. That has to be radar. Do surgery. Um, I want that to be operate. Yeah. So we know this is going to be diamonds down here. Why don't we go ahead and put that in? Diamonds. Yeah. Okay, maybe that'll help on these downs. Make slightly wet. That could be dampen. Go to an event. That'll be attend. Adjusts as a clock. I wonder if that's resets. Yeah, so we have EMTs. Ambulance specialists in brief. That's correct. And P. Baseball's Pee Wee Reese. I have heard that name before. That is right. Existing in hidden form. I think you would call that latent. Yeah, like a latent talent for crosswords, maybe. Very nice. All right, Spanish rice dishes. Is that going to be paellas? Alley blank. Basketball play. I think that'll be an alley -oop. India's smallest state. I know there's a state in India called Goa. Yeah. 4.0 is a great one for short. That's a great grade point average. Sent by UPS EG. I think that has to be shipped. Spoon blank fork. Spoon aura fork, <laughs> I guess org that won't call to demand payments, despite what its imposters would have you believe. Yeah, that's going to be the IRS. Don't trust those scam calls. Spotted wildcats of the South American jungle. This is looking like it's going to be ocelots. Crumple into a ball. I think that's going to be wad up. In a mass. Is that going to be clumped? Numbered musical work. Is that going to be an opus? Yeah. And I think we might have a theme revealer down here. I was trying to think about why these card suits would have a little hitch in them like this. Yeah, they're each going up, right? And these are each a suit in cards, right? So I wonder if it's going to be jump suits because each suit is kind of jumping. Let's see if that's what this is. Garments similar to rompers with a hint to the shaded squares in this puzzle. Yeah, I think we're definitely dealing with jumpsuits. Very nice, that was fun. That's a great revealer. All right, a triangular sail. That's called a jib. Yeah, that's on the front of a sailboat. Land between Canada and Mexico. These are both abbreviated, so that means our answer needs to be abbreviated as well. And the land between Canada and Mexico is the USA. All vice presidents before Harris? Well, they were all men, yeah, seeing as how Harris is the first female vice president. So we have IC, an equivalent phrase for, ah, uh, that makes sense now. That's right. And band, kings of Leon or queens of the Stone Age. 
That's kind of funny. We have kings and queens in this clue. Okay. Ramadan observers. That'll be Muslims. Believer in Islamic mysticism. I believe that would be a Sufi. Yeah. Actor Neeson. That's a Liam Neeson. Get rid of informally. Could that be ditch? Yeah. Hopes one will. I think that should be aims two. So that would give us fact. Fiction's opposite, that's right. And IMHO, if you ask me, online. In my humble opinion, that's right. Shucks, only stronger. I think that's gonna be damn. That's quite the oath. Princess played by Emma Corrin on The Crown. I guess that's gonna be Diana. Who else could it be, right? Appliance on a kitchen counter. That has to be a toaster. Fill to capacity. It's not stuff, that's too long. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna be sate? Yeah, that would be like filling up with food if you sate someone. Let's see if that's right. Let's see if we can build off of that. Lead into correct or tune. Auto-correct, auto-tune. Yeah, those are both things. Excursion, that could be a trip. Finishes, maybe that's ends. What do we have on these acrosses? Three-point driving maneuver, that's a U-turn. Malodorous, <laughs> I think that's gonna be fetid. If something's fetid, it smells really bad. So do we have UFO, what is this? Colonel Sanders chain. Hmm. Farmer's harvests. Shouldn't that be crops? Actually, maybe this is a K-turn because a U-turn isn't a three-point driving maneuver, right? Yeah. This is going to be a K-turn and then this is going to be crops for farmer's harvests. Yeah, excellent. All right, let's throw that C in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in just under 20 minutes. That's a good time for us for a Monday puzzle. I thought this was a very clever theme. Yeah, we have all four of the suits in a deck of playing cards represented here. Clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. And they're all doing a little bit of a jump up in the middle. And that's explained by our revealer here, jumpsuits. Yeah, the suits are literally jumping up halfway through. I think this is a really tight Monday theme. Yeah, this is great. We got a couple of wordplay clues on this Monday puzzle. I'm always happy to see that. I really liked this one for lapels. Big flaps in the fashion industry. That's very funny. We also got some kind of difficult vocab. I really liked elides. That's a good word to know. And also fetid for something that smells really bad. I think my favorite clue answer pair of the puzzle though was this one for on a dare, how you might walk through a graveyard at night. Yeah, that one has a fun spooky atmosphere to it. Oh, and actually I don't think we even looked at this clue. Let's see what this is. Almonds, nuts used to make marzipan. Yeah, that's right. It's all almond flavored. All right, well, we got all our jumpsuits sorted. So it looks like we're ready for takeoff. I hope you enjoyed solving that Monday puzzle along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time.